Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are going to solve today are the ones that you will find on page number. 87. Please turn to it. Page number 87 and today is our lesson number 37. Today we will discuss units of measurements. We are going to learn how to convert units from metric system to English system and from English system to metric, metric system. In the exam they will ask you a few questions like that. So here are some basic concepts, two or three things that you have to keep in mind. Let's start with something very fundamental. First is the, the term kilo. Kilo, as you know, means times 1000. Kilo means times 1000, or if you like, 10 raised to 3. And therefore, when they say 1 kilometer, 1 kilometer means 1000 meters. Because that's what the prefix means. Kilo, the prefix kilo means 1000. Let's look at the next one. The next one is centi. What is what does the prefix centi mean? Centi means one hundredths. Not hundred times, but one hundred. One over one hundred. Or if you like, ten raised to negative two. For example, if if they if if we come across one centimeter, one centimeter means one hundredth of a meter. 1 100, 1 100 of a meter. Let's do one more. What does milli mean? Milli means one thousandth. These are very basic things. I know you know it. I, I, I know you know them, but uh, it doesn't hurt to point them out so that uh, they are at the forefront of you. Of your thinking when you when you're dealing with with uh, measurements one 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 thousand which is same as of course or if you like ten raised to negative three for example if you are told one milliliter one milliliter would be one thousand one thousand of a liter there are one thousand milliliter in one liter similarly there are some, we, the book covers a lot of stuff here, obviously we're not going to go through them, but I do want to make sure that you know the most fundamental, the most important aspects of, of changing from metric to English and vice versa. So we're going to cover now some basic uh, facts that you, you must know, you have to know them by heart. Let's start with distance. Distance. One inch. One inch is approximately, you don't have to go, go around memorizing the precise value, it's approximately two and a half inches, two and a half centimeter rather. So you can, as you can see, uh, an inch is, is much, lower, uh, much longer than centimeters, two and a half times the centimeter, two and a half centimeters approximately make one inch. Similarly, one yard is about nine tenth of a meter. One yard is nine of a tenth of a meter. One yard doesn't quite make one meter. If you want one meter, if you want one meter, one meter is about thirty-nine inches. You see? One more time, so as you can clearly see, one yard doesn't quite make one meter. One yard is about nine tenth of a meter. If you wanted one meter, if you wanted one meter, you would need thirty-nine inches. And we know 39 inches is 36 inches plus 3 inches, which means that 1 meter is about 1 yard plus 3 inches. 1 meter is about 1 yard and 3 inches. In other, in other words, 1 meter is slightly more than a yard. It's about 3 inches longer than a, uh, than a yard. But if you want a rough estimate in the exam, it's close enough to say 1 yard is about, uh, 1 meter is about a yard. But you have to keep in mind, 
but it's not exactly about a yard, you have to add three more inches. One, one meter, in other words, one meter is bigger than one yard. Because we are missing the, those three additional inches. Let's carry on then. How about one mile? One mile is about 1.61 kilometers. So a mile is longer than a kilometer. It takes about one and a half kilometers, little more than one and a half kilometers, 1.6 kilometers to make one mile. So those are the basic, basic concepts about distance. Let's move on then. We're going to eat too much of a leisurely fish. I need the room. I need a lot of room, so we're going to have to raise all of this thing. One more time, very quickly. Kilo means kilo means times 1,000 or 10 raised to 3. For example, one kilometer would be 1,000 meters. Centi means 100 of a something. For example, one centimeter would, would mean 100 of a meter. Milli means one thousandth of a something. For example, one milliliter would mean one thousandth of a liter. I know these are two basics, I know you know them, but there they are nonetheless. So let's say we are done with the distances, let's look at the weights. I don't know how to pronounce how to spell weights. Did I did I did I muck it up? I don't I don't know. If the spelling is wrong, don't worry about it. One kilogram, one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pound. One kilogram is 2.2 pound. In other words, one pound doesn't quite make a half a kilogram. You need 1.1 pound. You need 1.1 pound to make one kilogram. No, that's not what I meant. You need 1.1 pound to make half a kilogram. 1.1 pound is about half a kilogram. Kilogram is more than twice, 2.2 pounds. One ounce is about 28 grams. I know it's a lot to keep in mind, there is too much stuff going on here, but this is what you need. This is what you have to know for the exam, there is no choice. You must know these things by heart. Here's the volume. Find the last category, volumes. We have the weight, we have the distance. One liter is about 1.064. One ounce is about 30 milliliter. And finally, one gallon is about 3.785. Three and three and seven eighth liter. But if you want an approximate value, you can say that one gallon is approximately four liter. One gallon is approximately four liters. One gallon is approximately four liters. This is this is what you have to deal with whenever you travel to foreign countries. Obviously, most of the rest of the world. Uh, uses a uh, metric system. As a matter of fact, I can't think of any other country that by now does not use metric system. Everywhere you go, they use metric system and this becomes very problematic when you pull in the gas station and you want to buy gas and we are used to buying them in gallons. So the quick approximation that I do is that I said to myself, one gallon is about four liters because they sell by the liters. So if I put in 40 liters, it sounds a lot. 40 liters sounds like a lot of gas, but it's only 10 gallons. Do you understand? So that was it. Let's do some problems. Let's do some problems. The first problem that we see there, uh, 2.42. Oh, 2.42, we're not going to do it. It's too silly. It says which one is larger, a kilometer or a meter. Obviously, a kilometer is larger because it's a thousand times the bloody thing. Let's look at 2.43 on the next page, page number 88. Two point four three. We're looking for a length of a pencil, and the question simply is, which of the following measurements that are given to us would make a reasonable length of a pencil? Let's take a look at that. First one is five meter. As we already know, as we already know, a meter is actually longer than a yard. So five meter is actually more than five yards. You can't have a pencil five yard long. This is too silly. It's too long. The next one is 12 centimeter. We'll keep 12 centimeter in abeyance. Let's look at 3 kilometers. We'll keep it aside for the time being. 
3 kilometers, what's wrong with 3 kilometers? 3 kilometers, kilometers is not a unit of distance, kilometers is a unit of weight. It is a unit of weight, it's too silly. We can't go around expressing the length of a pencil by using a unit of a weight, it's too silly. Finally, we have 8 kilometers. 8 kilometers, how long would that be? Well, obviously, we know. Well, I should say, obviously, let's, let's go through the work here. Here. Where is it? I'm going to point it out to you. We wrote it someplace here. Distance right here. There it is. 1 mile equals 1.61 kilometers. In other words, 1.6 kilometers make about 1 mile. Okay, keep listening. 1.6 kilometers make about 1 mile. If you were to multiply both sides by 10, if you were to multiply both sides by 10, 10 times 10 times 1.6. You just move the decimal place. 1.6 times 10 is going to be 16. 16 kilometers make about 10 miles. 16 kilometers make 10 miles. We have 8 kilometers. If 16 kilometers is 10 miles, 8 kilometers is going to be about 5 miles. It's one thing to be enthusiastic about learning. It is entirely different to go around buying a pencil that is 5 miles long. The reasonable length of a pencil is 12 centimeter because we know that one, uh, two and a half centimeters, two and a half centimeters make one inch. So, 12 centimeter is going to be a little under five inch, around around five inches or so. That's the reasonable length of a pencil. All the others were ridiculous. Let's move on. I don't know why we are going at such a leisurely pace. Let's move on then. Uh, let's look at the practice problem. Let's look at the practice problem. I need the room, obviously. Just give me one second. Practice problems. Number one. In number one, it says, is a five kilometer, is a five kilometer or five mile run, run longer? Of course, Five miles, we know one mile, we know one mile is about 1.6 kilometers, and therefore five miles will be times five times five. Five miles would be 1.6 times five kilometers. 1.6 times five, how much is that? How do I know? We know 1.6 times 10 is right here still. We know that 1.6 times 10 is 16. If 1.6 times 10 is 16, 1.6 times 5 must be 8. We just did that a little while ago. So this 1.6 times 5 is 8 kilometers. 5 miles. 5 miles is equal to, or to be more precise, 5 miles is approximately equal to 8 kilometers. The question here was which one was longer, which one is longer, 5 kilometers or 5 miles, which is a silly question because you don't have to do any of the analysis here. You just have to realize that a mile is longer than a, than a, than a kilometer. A one mile is longer than a kilometer, therefore five miles is going to be more than five kilometers. Number two. It says approximately how many inches are there in 12 and 3 quarter centimeter? Twelve and three quarter centimeter is approximately how many inches? That's the question here. Okay, listen what, what, listen what's going on here. Let's break up. Let's break up 12, 12 and three quarter centimeter into 10, 10 centimeter plus two and three quarter centimeter. We know one inch equals two and a half centimeters. Ten centimeter is four times two and a half. So therefore, ten centimeter will make four inches. Ten centimeter will make four inches because it's four times two and a half, and this is two and a three quarter which is approximately two and a half. This is approximately two and a half centimeter. And we know, two, we know two and a half centimeters right here. Two and a half centimeter makes one inch. So that's another inch. So it turns out that 12 and three quarter centimeter is equal to, one more time, 12 and, what we're claiming is that, what we're claiming is that 12 and three quarter centimeter is approximately equal to 10 centimeter plus two and a half centimeter. We are leaving, leaving out quarter of the centimeter. 10 centimeter is 4 times 2.5 centimeters. Since 1 inch equals 2.5 centimeters, 
4 times 2.5 will be 4 inches. This makes another inch, 2.5 centimeter makes another inch. 4 inch plus 1 inch gives us a total of 5 inches. So the answer is 12 and 3 quarters centimeter. We can't say equal so because it doesn't exactly equal to, it's approximately equal to 5 inches. Approximately because we are rounding this 2 and a 3 quarter to 2 and a half. That's all. We are done for today. I will see you tomorrow where we will continue the units on the next page. Okay? Bye now.